this thing, struggling to pick it up. This thing is an absolute beast. And that was taken on the power bait. This is beautiful. Little brown trout back in the water. It's gonna be there go. on his way. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's just the sun's just breaking now. We've been here for all of five minutes. And I've caught this beautiful buck brown trout. Okay, now whilst we've got a minute, let me run through and show you the different ways that we basically do bait presentation with hooks when you're bait fishing for trout. So I've got a number of different baits here. I'm gonna rig every one of them up for you just to show you the different tricks. So what we are gonna do is we've got power bait. So that is one of the most common baits. So that's one that we'll show you. Got some corn kernels, which obviously can be used for lots of different things. Um, we've got some maggots there. So we're gonna show you how to pin those properly. We've got some mud eyes, another really, really good trout bait. And we've also got some scrub worms. So we've got, what have we got? Five different types of bait there. All of them have their place when it comes to trout fishing. However, the way you basically present them on a hook, that way they're gonna have really good catch rates is quite different between them. So generally what I'll do is, I've got a little tackle box like this with me that I'll take out with me. And usually what I'm gonna be using is a very small hook for some of those baits, and also a slightly big hook for some of the other baits. So, okay. Okay, so what I've got here is that is just a size six bait keeper hook. So that's gonna be fantastic for your scrub worms and your power bait. And then what I've got here is a very, very small, teeny tiny size 12 hook there. It's like a fly hook. And these are really, really good for using baits like maggots and those mud eyes. And I'm gonna show you why in a second. So let's start with one of the easy ones first, power bait. All you need to do, is pull out two power bait nuggets. These are the ones that you're probably more common with seeing, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your size six bait keeper hook, okay? And you're basically just going to thread them on, okay? So one like that, and then push it up, okay? And then we're gonna grab the other one, and we're gonna also do the same, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna have it you want it presenting just like that, where you've got really good hook exposure, okay? So that in the water there, and a lot of these power baits actually do float or suspend. So you can see they're gonna be really attractive, nice bright colors, but you've got the basically the sharp part of the hook there exposed. So that is basically how I would rig those up. Those salmon eggs that we used earlier, a little bit smaller, you can fit three of those on. So that's what I would do for those. Whilst we've got that size six hook, let's put the power bait away, okay? Let's rig up a scrub worm, okay? So these are quite size big scrubbies. Really, really good. Redfin love them, yellow belly love them, trout love them, okay? There's a couple of ways that you can pin them. And again, with your live baits, the main thing that you wanna do is you wanna keep them alive. You want them so that way when you cast them out, they're gonna stay wriggling in the water and it's that movement that's really going to attract the trout. One of the best things to do is to just basically thread the hook through there and then push that worm up the hook okay a little bit like you're doing a soft plastic it will just slide up okay and then basically have that come out like that so you can have the hook that looks exactly like that so for me that is perfect there there is no way that that worm is going to come off the hook and once again, you've got really, really good hook exposure. So for me, if you're gonna do a worm, that is probably the best way to hook it. And as I said, there's no way that that worm is gonna get free. So we'll take this guy off the hook, put him away. All right, and you can also use corn kernels. Again, if we pull out that size six bait keeper hook, corn kernels are exactly like what we did with the power bait. The only difference is that you can fit a few more on. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your corn kernel, just gonna thread that through and slide it up the hook. So you can see that is the first kernel that we've put there. And then what we're gonna do is, depending on the size of those kernels, we're just gonna load that up. So quite often, you're gonna fit maybe four or five kernels on there. So there's two, three, and four. And as I said, the main thing that you wanna do is make sure that you don't remove that hook exposure. The hook exposure there is the most important part. You should be able to feel that. And basically you want it so obviously when a fish comes and eats that, that that's not gonna be covered because that's how you lose fish. So that there is how I would rig up your corn kernels there. So let's get onto our smaller hook now. So obviously we've used that size six bait keeper hook. We've done the power bait, the scrub worms, and the corn. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this smaller hook and this can be a little bit trickier. So this is your tiny little size 12 hook. Great option to use when you're doing things like trout and brim fishing. So let's rig up, rig up a couple of maggots first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a few maggots. We, again, a bit like the corn, we should be able to thread about four or five maggots on there. The key is you just want to pierce them. And you can see the maggots have got a tail side and a head side. And the way you can tell is the black coloration. So that indicates that that is its tail side. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna carefully get this hook and just pierce the top of the maggot. You don't want to kill it, okay? You wanna keep it alive. So you get a very carefully thread that on there. And if you do it properly like that, you'll see that that maggot's gonna stay on the hook and he's wriggling around. So that is the perfect way to do it. So you gotta really take your time. And what we should be able to do is we should be able to fit about five maggots on there. Again, don't rush the process. Take your time. Just pierce the skin. Okay, perfect. So we'll do a few more of those and I'll show you what that end result should look like. And then we're gonna tackle the mud eye, which is probably the trickiest of the lot. Okay, so three on. Four on. And five on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you just here. I'm gonna put my hand there so you can see now that is five maggots that are on that hook. Okay, they're all wriggling around. And once again, you've got full hook exposure. So that way, if a trout comes along, it's just gonna suck that up. And obviously you've got the full hook exposure, it's gonna hook. And often what happens is the trout swallow these and it pins them just on the back of the throat. So even a tiny little hook like that will catch a very, very big fish. So that's the maggots. Now if we grab another size 12 hook, so one of these tiny little hooks again, and this time we're gonna rig up a mud eye. So this is a little bit tricky because they will be moving around. The trick is with the mud eye is you wanna pin them underneath the wings without hurting them and killing them because the idea is you want those legs crawling around and moving around on the water. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab one of these guys out. I wanna try and find one that's moving around. It's a little bit flighty, so there's a good size one there, okay? There you go, so interesting things to play with, aren't they, the old mud eyes? They're a bit of a strange one. So tiny little hook here. What you wanna do is just lift up his wings and just pin that behind the wings. You don't want to hurt or kill the mud eye. That's the critical part here. So just take your time. Okay, and you can see now that is just Okay, so you can see that is just pinned just through the wings. I find with these guys, obviously, when you pin them, they go nice and still. But what will happen is when you cast him out, so there you go. So that's perfect there. So you can see now he's moving around there. You've got really, really good hook exposure. His little legs and that are moving around. And once you cast him out on the water, he's going to have really, really great movement. And basically, again, Trout like to eat things from the surface. They like to eat crickets. They like to eat flies. They like to eat bugs and insects from the top of the surface. And if you can have that suspending off a float or a very, very lightly weighted sinker, then you're gonna find you'll get onto a few trout using that. Anyway, guys, there is how you rig up five different baits when you're trout fishing.